Hey guys, what is going on? It's Tony here, and I'm here today with a video about the World Event 2 rewards, the uh, Bird and the Beast. So today I finished my last reward, which was a tier 3 emote, and I thought I'd make a video. So currently I'm wearing the full Banos armor Warpriest, and the Warpriest armor is the same as the previous Warpriest of Zemrock and Zarodomen, meaning it's a hybrid armor, meaning that you can use it for every combat style without having reduce, reduced accuracy. And it's also level 75, but because it's hybrid, it's min minus 15 tiers, so that comes to a level 60 armor. But then again, it's a free armor which you can get by doing the world event. And the special ability of the armor is that it decreases your cooldowns. Um, so let's say you got a 30 second cooldown, it decreases it by 15, I believe, which is 5 seconds then. So uh, it's something cool, we don't really have any cooldown reduction, so it's cool to see this as first in game. But it's not really worth using it as you sacrifice um, three or more pieces of it, which is kind of really bad for PVM as you need those. But then again, it might be a bit useful if you are doing something low level based, low level bosses, uh, where you don't really need the boots, gloves and helmet or cape. So yeah guys, um, this is the Banos outfit. I think it looks pretty cool. I like the helmet. And I'm not really a fan of the um, rope skirt. Uh, I thought it would be better if it looked like plate legs. But then again, it's a warp priest, so that's that's kind of the point of having it like a skirt. Then, so this is then the armadillo armor or outfit, and it looks pretty sweet. Um, the legs look better than the other one. Uh, the cape looks pretty cool as well, and yeah, the helmet too. But I kind of like the Banos chest plate more or warp priest the Kerkress Kerkress. I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah. Um, so that's the both the outfits. Um, they have the same effect as well. And then the emotes. Um, this is the Armadale Glory Tier Three emote. So that looks pretty sweet, to be honest. I like that quite a lot. And I bought all the other tier emotes uh, as well, just because why not? It's cool to have more emotes. And then the Banner's emotes. Um, this is the Tier Three emote. I'm not really a huge fan of the emote. I think the Armadillo one looks way better, but it's not a better as well. As you can see, Banos in the background looks pretty cool. But yeah, guys, um, so those are the emotes and the outfits. Now, you also have the um, weapons, which you can get during the world event as a drop, which you have to make then uh, with the um, sacred medals. I managed to get six or oh, no, four of the eight, I believe, and I still need to get quite some sacred medals. But yeah, I've got a few here to show, which is the Orcish Wand, which looks pretty cool, to be honest. It has glowing eyes and the glowing Banos uh, icon. Uh, what else do we have? Oh yeah, the Fancy Wand. Mm, not a fan of this at all, to be honest. Looks kind of dull. And then we have a pretty cool shield. I like the shield quite a lot, the Orcish Shield. It looks like the old Dragonfire Shield, which is pretty beast. And yeah, it looks really cool. And then the Avenger shield, but yeah, it doesn't really look that awesome as well compared to the Banos one. But yeah, that's uh, just a few of the cosmetic items you can get during the world event as well. And uh, that's about it, guys. The world event ends on the 20th of January, so in a few days, actually. And the outfit, the hybrid outfit, along with the um, abilities, um, you can unlock after the event as well by killing either Armadillians or Bandosians in Good Wars, I believe, and it's going to be a rare drop. So, well, if you're going to kill some Bandos, you can get it as well. So, if you're doing the World Event and you want to get XP, you might as well do that and kill some Bandos, God Wars afterwards. So, yeah, that's a pretty cool method to do that. I chose it to get my um, outfit earlier because I like to have all this stuff earlier as well. So, yeah, guys, um, that's about it for the video. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, and I also bought some new outfits with bonds on the Salmon store recently. And these two new outfits that came out this week look pretty damn sweet. This is the Cursed Reaver with the scythe, which looks really awesome. And then the other one is the Blessed Sentinel, and I like the wings quite a lot. So yeah guys, just showing real quick, because they look pretty damn sweet. And the graphics team did a good job on them. So yeah, see ya.